There is a place that breathes life into ideas. A network for the pioneers of science. A place for wide-eyed opportunities for learning. That place is the Arizona Cancer Center. At the Arizona Cancer Center, we are single-minded in our purpose to seek a cure for cancer. We are passionate thinkers who inspire innovation and hope. Our international reputation for scientific excellence, education, and compassionate care comes from the energy and optimism of our physicians and scientists. 40% of people in their lifetime are gonna have an invasive cancer. This is the biggest health problem by a long shot in the United States, and we need to be research-based, evidence-based in everything we do. It's very exciting to be a part of a research team and to have an opportunity to do something that could change people's lives. We know that our enemy is cancer, and we're going to conquer it. Our 300 members include scientists from many disciplines, such as engineering, chemistry, optical sciences, biology, and public health. Many of our scientists are also physicians whose patients inspire new questions and new solutions to cancer. Much of my research attempts to learn from my patients in the clinic. The most interesting questions in my research I would not have developed but for the patients that I work with in the clinic. My interest for my patients is really, I don't want to be doing the treatment that we're going to be doing tomorrow. I want to try to figure out, well, what are we going to do after tomorrow? Because even if we come up with a fantastic treatment for tomorrow, it's not going to be perfect. And so there's going to be ways to improve upon it. And that's where I think a center like ours stands out. The people that are working in the clinic can see what the problems are, what are going to be the problems five years from now, and begin to design the treatments and be involved in testing the treatments in the clinic that are not going to be the treatments for tomorrow or next week or next year, but are going to be the treatments that people are using five years from now. We're approaching an era in cancer care where one size doesn't fit all. At the Arizona Cancer Center, we're perfecting techniques to provide individualized cancer treatment based on a person's own genetic makeup. But we won't stop there. Our scientists are creating tools to determine that treatment's effectiveness within hours instead of weeks. One of the reasons I came to the University of Arizona and the Arizona Cancer Center three years ago is so that I could have this chemistry research lab right next door to uh, physicians' laboratories uh, down the hall. So I love to uh, pop into Allison Stopek's laboratory uh, so I can understand uh, uh, the unmet need in the clinic and know how we should create tools to solve that unmet need. Or to see uh, Sessico Chambers uh, down another hallway who treats ovarian cancer, or my good friend Phil Quo, who's a radiologist. Unless I understand what the problem is, how can we create a tool that's actually going to help patients? 15 years ago, we were using biomedical imaging just to uh, image the anatomy of the tumor. But it would take weeks or months to see if the tumor was shrinking uh, in response to therapy. And that's really too long, especially if we find out uh, weeks to months later that the therapy is not having any effect on that tumor size. So with this field of molecular imaging, we're able to determine at the molecular level if things are changing within the tumor within just 24 hours of starting that therapy. And that can save a lot of time, especially if that initial therapy that was chosen is ineffective. We can immediately move on to the next therapy. And that can have a great potential significance in saving patients' lives. We have more opportunities and better tools than ever before to impact survival and quality of life for our patients and their families. Today, new drugs are being created right here at the Arizona Cancer Center that can be delivered effectively to patients in our clinical trials. So at the Arizona Cancer Center, we're really excited about the latest two drugs that we've developed in my lab, which are molecularly targeted drugs with low toxicity, and they're targeted against two very aggressive types of cancer, triple negative breast cancer and pancreatic cancer. In all of our preclinical tests, both of these drugs 
show great efficacy with low toxicity, and we're really excited to get them into the clinic to see how well they'll work on patients. I think we're really lucky to be working as scientists right now. We have a lot of tools that weren't there 20 years ago, and I think we have a lot of opportunity to actually strongly impact patient care and patient survival. Our ultimate goal is to get our drugs into the clinic and find out that we can actually cure patients and save their lives. The Arizona Cancer Center is uniquely poised to deliver more life-changing discoveries the world needs now. We are on a mission, and this is just the beginning of our journey.